This box here is pretty special because I bought a new lens for my camera, in particular a cinema lens. So let's not waste any time and let's see what's inside into this box. Welcome here to my channel, I'm Simone Bertolotti and today, as I said, we have a special box to open. And you know, I'm pretty excited about this one because I've been using my lens, I have only the 1680 from Fujifilm and I've been using it in the last three and a half about. So I'm pretty excited now to test a new lens for my gear and I've decided to bought a different sort of lens because this one is not you know a normal lens that you find around because it's not a normal and traditional photo lens but this one is a video lens and the video lens or even known as cinema lens are a bit different so this one is the Siri Nightwalker 24 millimeters so Let's see what's inside. This lens should look great. And so, yeah, let's see. So we have here this little strap, to pull it away. And then here in the box, we finally have the lens. Here we go. So this one isn't a review of the lens itself because I'm looking at it for the first time and you know before telling you something about this lens I want to test it properly for the time and understand how it is, how it works and even the difference from a normal cinema lens to a photo lens. So I want to get into this sort of lens and after we can talk about it. So, here we have it, finally, the Siri Nightwalker 24mm T1.2. So this one, this lens is pretty particular even for its 1.2 uh, diaphragm and it should give in video some, an extremely nice and great looking bokeh in the background. So at the moment, for example, I'm using the Fujifilm 1680mm at about 16 millimeters and it has a bokeh of f4 so f4 is not an, an amazing bokeh but instead with this one with the t 1.2 that should be definitely better and even more cinematic because i've read that the bokeh on this type of lenses should be better than the photo lens but as i said i want to test it and see how it is so now let's open it up for the first time and yeah here we go so first reactions about this lens honestly that's not lightweight at all in fact i've read that it's about 500 grams but honestly that's good because the materials are great it's totally made in aluminium so that's something positive to have on a lens and so the build quality seems to be pretty nice and that's good and yeah that's a bit big for only a 24 millimeter lens because it's almost as big as my 1680 so which is a lens with a telephoto in it but you know cinema lenses are different from photo lenses so it's normal that it's bigger it has more weight and the fact is that usually cinema lenses rather than the normal photo lenses have a better building quality and so as I've noticing now for sure the materials are better so in general the video lens should be a bit better for example on the quality of the product but even on the image quality because all this the most important thing is the image quality and that's one of the reason why I decided to buy a second lens which is a cinema lens and not just a normal photo lens and one final thing about this lens is that it is a manual focus lamp. In fact, usually cinema lenses have manual focus just because you can, for example, use it with external rigs. And so, yeah, that's gonna be a sort of a challenge in my case. But personally, 
I believe that having a manual focus lens for videos in some cases can be even better. But you know, I don't want to talk about much manual focus in this video because I've been using autofocus in the last years. So I want to test manual focus and in the end make some videos about this topic because in my opinion that's pretty interesting to talk about even because for some of you it can be useful to understand if it's worth to have a manual focus lens or you just have to keep using an autofocus lens. So that's all for this one. Huge thanks for watching and yeah, just subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss the upcoming contents because lots of things are coming, even about this lens and in general about lots of other topics. So that's all for this one, that's all for this Siri Nightwalker 24mm lens and just see you in the next video. So bye.